Okay guys, uh, today I'm doing a video on the safest way to ice fish. Um, never going on ice, ice again because I actually fell through last year. Um, it was not fun and uh, ice fishing is fun but no fish is worth losing your life. So the safest way to ice fish if you want just a quick answer is don't ice fish or ice fish from something safe like a dock or a fishing platform. Um, that's the only advice I got for you. Um, today you can see how I do it on like a floating dock or something and remember like I said before no fish is worth dying for and you know there's always open water season coming up everybody gets the itch to go out and fish but the ice isn't safe you can't go out here's a way if, even if you do ice fish and the ice isn't safe at that time you can ice fish like this it's fairly easy um, basically it's exactly like regular ice fishing except you're on something solid like a dock or fishing platform or you know something like that you can see there's open water right there um, but um, get down here and clean out these holes and get back with you when we start start fishing Hey guys, today we got three rods. We got a Swedish pimple, a hook, split shot, and I'm gonna put a bobber on, and then just an ice jig. I start out with the ice jig and the bobber here. On the bobber, um, I actually caught a trout the other day. Wasn't on camera, but and uh, it was a female and had some skein, some eggs starting to develop in her. So I took that out and not gonna keep any today, but and use this as bait. Um, about probably two or three foot down here, probably about three foot, and put this bobber on here so I can jig with the ice jig over there. So that'll be my one rod. Okay, and then this one, just a simple ice jig and a gulp wax worm. have any live waxies right now so this will do just gonna take these two setups out and see what we can do we got a bucket here to sit on and and uh, remember ice fishing is you know for the way I think of it is just some some other way to pass the time until open water fishing is back that's the way I think of it um, if you catch fish, great. If you don't, all well. At least it's better than not being able to fish at all. Um, and like I said before in the intro, there's no sense in no sense in risking your life just for a couple fish. So this is the way that. I like the ice fish. Um, it's really safe because obviously you're on a floating dock or some kind of stable platform. Um, it's just like ice fishing, your hole's right next to you and using short little rods, light line and little little presentations. So pretty much it's exactly the same. The only difference is one time you're on ice and risking your life, and another time you're on safe, stable ground and don't have to worry about anything. So, that's just my take on it. Um, you can do whatever you want, and that's not my problem. But, uh, if you uh, do ice fish, be careful. And, uh, if you're new to ice fishing, this is a great way to get started. Because, like I said before, there's really no risk in it as long as this uh, platform or dock you are on is stable so we'll go back you there when we get we get some fish
Guys, we got, a got our bike here on this run rod. I think we got a trout here. Lose my drag up here. I think I've got a big trout. I think I had uh, try to reel this other rod up here. I was entangled. Uh, we had a piece of that skein under a bobber here. So I get this guy up. He's pretty feisty. Try to fight him here and get him up and get him off and get him back here. Oh, nice trout. <clears throat> get him up here. Just relax. Relax, relax. Hey guys, he's out. Nice rainbow here. There he goes. Back in the water. Well, there's the first bite and first fish. Um, yeah, I'm only about two foot down here, and I had a couple taps on the ice jig and uh, all of a sudden the bobber went down and uh, I had the camera off for a second to make sure it was on I turned it back on and all of a sudden I had a bite so we'll go back there when we get some more Guys, gotta bite as soon as I drop it down. Oh. Guys, I just dropped this down here. I'm sure you saw that. I just dropped it down and I had another bite. There he is again. Guys, I got another trout. Just like that, I got another one. Oh, it just got off. Wow, that was crazy. Guys, I just dropped down there and I caught another one. Well, I didn't catch him, but I hooked another one. Let me get a piece of sound here. Show you what I'm using. It's just a small piece of the skein, and I salted it and put it in the refrigerator so it stays fresh. I might not even need that other rod. I might just send this one down and watch it for a second because. It was as soon as it got down there, I had a bite. Okay, nothing yet, but... There's one guys. Just got another trout. Wow. So guys, you can have amazing I'm gonna pull this one out here. You guys can have amazing times fishing. You don't have to go out and be on unsafe ice. You can do it right all right here if you got some kind of dock or some kind of oh just got off. But um I am using barbless hooks today. That might be some of the reason why. Um because I'm not keeping any today. Um but it's just some fun. But like I said, you know, just some good fun coming out here and don't got to be out on the unsafe ice or anything like that. No worry at all. And have some fun ice fishing. You can do this with obviously all species. Um, this happens, there's trout in this pond. There's a uh, trout in this pond and I gotta come out today and see if I get any of them to bite.
Guys, we got one. I just all of a sudden raised up and I had one on here. Let me put my drag here. He's pulling out. Get this one out of the hole here. Right here. Get this one out of the way here. Nope, oh, oh, slack. Okay. Still got him here. I don't even saw him yet. I think he's got a nice rainbow. But I could be wrong. Oh, feels nice. Well, I'm Oh, he's a good one. Wow. He's pulling me. Oh, he is heavy, guys. He is heavy. Still haven't seen him. Tight. Oh, there he is. There he is, right there at the hole. No, he's going to go dive. Try to get him up here. Looks like a good one. Oh, cut the line on the ice. Oh, there he goes. Come on, get up. There he is. Okay, let me get out here. Get him out. Come here, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. He's out, guys. Nice rainbow. Come on, there he goes. There he goes. Get my reel here. Just like that. Another nice rainbow. He uh, he was just sitting with it, sitting with it in his mouth. All of a sudden, I raised up and he was on. But uh, another nice rainbow and let's get down there and let's see if we can't get a couple more, maybe even a golden trout. There's a couple of goldens in here. I think there's like one or two browns. So we'll see. Set this down and get set back up here and get back here when we get another fish. Okay, guys, um, I'm gonna go over what I'm using today. It's not very expensive stuff. You do not need much for ice fishing. I even uh, oh, hold on, hold on that thought, guys. I just got another trout here. Oh, just popped off. Let's uh, get back down there and see if we can't get them, but. I just caught a little break, there was no fish biting, and all of a sudden he bit. Okay, well, we'll resume that thought here, since I lost him. Make sure my drag's loose enough, but um, nothing very, very um, expensive here. All obviously pretty cheap gear. Um, you do not need expensive stuff to catch fish through the ice. Um, pretty much you need something to cut a hole in the ice, whether that be a hand auger or a spud bar. Um, you know, either works. Um, even if, let's say, it's late spring, early winter, and there's very thin ice, you can eat, you know, and the ice is like skim, you can, you know, move the ice out of the way, you know, you can sit on the edge of the dock and just, you know, it got to be careful, but just break the ice with your boot or something, or a stick if it's real thin. But you know, you can you can pick up cheap hand augers at stores, relatively cheap. Um, or you can even go to garage sales and stuff like that. But when you get one, you want to get one with some good blades on it. So if you do get ice, because today I think there's probably six inches of ice right here at this spot. It's probably about six, four to six inches. Um, but you got to be able to have enough, you know, something that can actually cut through it, so sharp enough blades and everything. But uh, for the rods and everything, these are just cheap Walmart, um, Walmart or Cabela's, I'm not sure, brand. There's just like a South Bend thin ice rod, you know, somebody just got sitting there at Walmart, you know, you can pick some up relatively cheap. Um, and then this is just, it says it's an Optimax 101S, I imagine for small. And just some four pound tests, monofilament here. Um, that stuff you can find that anywhere. It's dirt cheap. Um, and then another thing, which they don't cost that much, but you can see on all my rods, they have these. It's like almost like a spring bobber because they do make ones where you put the end of your eyelet. Them are okay, but these I think are the best because they just they uh, clip on the top of your end of your rod here, and it's a very light piece of wire with like another extra eyelet. And you can see just barely moving in the wind, it you know picks up the slightest of 
impacts or moves vibration and everything so those I would definitely recommend I think I got these at Walmart pretty cheap too um, you know you become like a pack of three or four um, I would advise putting them on all your rods if you got like a bobber rod like this you don't need it because the bobber tells you when you got a bite but um, and you, for your ice jig and your jigging spoon and stuff like that it helps but these these thin ice rods they're good rods but they're not very sensitive at the tip you can fish with them without those at the end the spring bobber but I definitely think it improves the amount of bites that you can detect and then obviously resulting in more fish caught or hooked so that's what I've got here and then you know I'll bring this up here uh, this is just some you know you can use any type of ice jig this is a I think this is a tungsten ice jig but you can get the lead ones you, you know they you can find them all over sometimes you can find packs of them like you know five five to ten to a pack or something um, and then you can get wax worms if you want but I found over the years that these little okay guys you probably just saw a break in the video there um, the GoPro just died no big deal so I got another battery um, what I was saying is these little ice jigs and then you can use wax worms if you want um, but I think these gulp, gulp products work pretty good these gulp waxies I think do a pretty good job um, if you don't have wax worms um, obviously with the live bait over there you could use well it's not really live but you could use minnows you know wax worms under a hook like that or you know eggs for trout but um, that's pretty much it you know there's a whole bunch of lures you can use but an ice oh there goes that an ice jig is the simplest thing you can probably use and catch multiple species on it anything from bass to bluegill to crappie to perch to uh, pike walleye you know anything but um, I'm actually going to switch over to the Swedish pimple now which is another great ice fishing lure very simple too um, it comes with a treble hook you can use it if you want but I think that just a straight gold um, gold like uh, um, straight shank gold hook number six number number six or number eight works good because you can put bait on there um, if you're using like if you got minnows you can put like a minnow head or a minnow piece that works great for um, many species especially perch um, obviously you'll catch other stuff too but these gulp waxies you know they work great for ice fishing like this and they also work great for spring when the bluegill start biting again um, when the water opens up I think they work great um, when you can't get because you know obviously they're not alive so they last longer than uh, regular wax worms were because sometimes you'll get them put them in the fridge the wax worms you'll get them and put them in the fridge and a couple of days they'll be dead already these you know they'll last two three seasons you know so that's basically what I'm using um, nothing very technical here but we're gonna get down here and see if we can get some more trout Guys got another one here. It's been a while since I've talked to the camera because I haven't got one in a long time. I think he just realized he's hooked. Oh, he's a nice one. Loosen the drag up a little bit here. Give him some. Try to tighten it up so it's okay. Let's get him up here. Oh, he's a nice one. Oh, he just got out, guys. I hope you guys saw him underneath the hole. He was a, he was a nice one, but sometimes that just happens. Fishing in tight quarters. 
Sometimes you just can't help it. I uh, didn't realize I lost my bait off this one. I wonder how long that one's been down here without bait. Well, guys, for those of you who stayed to the end here, thank you. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys um, utilize it if your ice around you isn't safe. Go find some kind of dock or fishing platform and, and drill some holes off of the side of it. And, not have to worry about falling through the ice and still be able to potentially catch some fish. Um, hope you guys like this video. If you guys do, please uh, leave a like, comment, and make sure you are subscribed. Of course, we've got a plane flying over right now. As soon as I want to try to film the outro. Okay, so anyways, hope you guys like this video. Um, leave a comment down below. Um, hope you guys are safe. It's ice fishing season, and hopefully we can start warming up here so we can get back to some open water fishing. But if it doesn't, you still got somehow, you still got a way to catch fish safely. You don't have to worry about falling through the ice. Now. Obviously, this is my opinion. Um, you guys can do whatever you want. If you want to go out on the ice, that's you know totally and solely up to you. Um, but this is how I ice fish. Staying from a nice dock here, drilling some holes off the side, and you saw today I still caught fish. So until next time, see you guys later.